What's up guys and welcome to the support video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to improve your Oculus slash MetaQuest 2's graphical quality while playing standalone VR. This video, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need your Quest 2, of course, a USB cable so you can connect it to your PC or smartphone, and you're going to need your PC or smartphone. Now first, let's get your Meta account registered as an organization so we can unlock the developer's mode that you need to make these changes. To do so, you're just going to head over to the dashboard by clicking on the link in the description of this video. You're gonna create your organization. You can basically name it whatever you like. Click I understand and then submit. And now your organization is created. Congratulations. That's gotta be some kind of record. Next, if you're on a Windows PC, you're gonna take your newly minted mogul status and head over to developers.oculus.com. Link also in the description of this video. And you're gonna download and install the needed drivers for your Windows PC. If you make sure you extract the folder by right clicking on it and clicking extract. Then open the subsequent folders and right click on the Android underscore win USB INF file and click install. If you're on a Mac, you don't have to worry about this. Now, while we're in a downloading and installing kind of mood, let's get the SideQuest application installed also. So take your built-in controllers. You're going to head over to sidequestvr.com slash download link below in the description of this video. And you're going to download the SideQuest application based on the platform that you're currently on. If you're on a Mac, download the Mac version. If you're on a Windows, download the Windows version, of course. Next, time out. Oh, Rain, is there a SideQuest app for mobile phones? Well, I'm so glad you asked. For Android users, yep. And I just happen to have a video showing you how to use it. So just go ahead and click here and you can access that now. Sorry, iPhone users. As of right now, all you have is a desktop application. This is like the one time Apple users are left out. Anyway, back to our regular schedule programming. Only a couple more steps left. Now let's get developers mode enabled so we can access the settings that we need. To do that, you're just gonna make sure your Quest is booted up and connected to the same Wi-Fi that your mobile phone is connected to. You're gonna go ahead and launch the Quest application on your phone, head over to devices and toggle the newly visible developers mode on. Now back on your PC or Mac, you're gonna launch the side quest application. Make sure again, your Quest is still booted up and go ahead and connect your Quest to your computer using that USB cable. You're gonna throw the headset on. You're gonna now need to allow certain permissions that pop up. Check to make sure that that red light in the corner turns green, which means you've now established the connection between side quest and your actual quest you're basically good to go. Now, all that's left is really for us to adjust the resolution of your quest. So with your quest still connected, of course, you're gonna go ahead and click on the wrench at the very top of the side quest application. We're gonna scroll down to default texture size. Now, right now my game of choice is Resident Evil 4. And I found that about 2084 at 90 Hertz gives me the best overall gaming experience. It's a balance between clarity and performance. But for you, I would just play around with the settings and see exactly where you land. Also, if you're using the side quest app on Android, you can find these exact same settings under the menu option and under tools scroll down you'll see the exact same setting for changing the default size and you could even do it wirelessly on the app so the app may be a better option for some people now keep in mind that if your battery dies or if your quest is rebooted the settings go back to its default setting so you might want to make sure you subscribe to the channel for a reference in case because you know happens also it's important to note that this is not going to work for every game that's out there because some games already support a higher resolution and you won't see an improvement in the game at all but if you do improve the graphics and you see any kind of issues with your frame rate that's an indication that the higher resolution was already supported so all you have to do is readjust the texture size or just reboot your quest and you should be good to go congratulations that's it you now know how to improve the graphical quality of your quest 2 using standalone vr which is amazing if you guys want to know more about the quest we have a couple more quest 2 videos you can check out i'm going to make sure to link them in the description of this video and in the end card that's coming up as always guys thank you so much for checking out the video don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any tech support questions use the link in the description or use the comment section of this video we try to answer them as quickly as possible thanks again so much for checking out the video make sure to stay safe stay technical so i'll see you next time game on and peace out